Hi, my name is Jeannie, and um, I've been an interim Buddhist for 12 years now. This year is going to be my 12th year, starting this March. And it's a 12 years of chanting the mantra Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, 12 years of growth and expansion, 12 years of ups and downs, but remaining strong after the downs. We often hear Nichiren Buddhists say that we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to overcome our karma or to change our karma. I would like to quote a man in India named Sadhguru because his meaning of karma is the simplest explanation of karma that I can find, or it makes karma more accessible. What is the meaning of karma? He said, karma is not existence's reward or punishment system as people seem to think. So Sadhguru dispels this notion and explains that whatever kind of karma you have, it restricts and binds you, unless you know how to loosen its grip. Sadhguru, karma literally means action. Um, that's what he said. We are referring to past action from the moment you were born till this moment. The kind of family, the kind of home, the kind of friends, the things that you did and did not do, all these things are influencing you. Every thought, emotion, and action comes only from past impressions that you have had within you. They decide who you are right now. The very way you think, feel, and understand life is just the way you have assimilated inputs. We call this karma, the karmic software. In modern times, I would say it is the current software in which you are working. Your whole system, your body, mind, energy, and emotions is programmed because of the impressions that you have taken in. A complex amalgamation of all these impressions is your karma. Whichever way your software is, that is what the way your mind, emotion, and body function, even your energy moves that way. What kind of karma you have, it is a limited possibility, and that is what makes you into a limited person. Depending on what kind of impressions you take in, or you took in, whatever it was, hatred and anger, love and joy, you accordingly have a certain kind of personality. Usually every human being is a complex mixture of these things. Unless you allow this karmic structure to build beyond a certain point, there's really no such thing as freedom. Everything that you do is conditioned by the past. So if you want to move in the direction of liberation, one of the first things you need, you need to do is to loosen the grip and shackles of karma. Otherwise, no movement will happen. So I'll provide a link of this because um, I found it on the internet and it's very, it's a very wise way of saying what karma is, that it's like a software, it's essentially programming and conditioning and I really love it and um, I also got his video and I'll also show you the link, um, I'll link it uh, because it was very informative and it allowed me to really think like how can I relate this to my Buddhist practice. So how does chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo um, you know, help you change your karma? So as he said, uh, as Sadhguru said, karma is like a software program that, a program that, runs, that runs your life and there really is no freedom unless you're aware of your karma and what you need to change or unless you're aware of the programs or the conditioning that's, that's running your life. So this is where chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo helps. So in Nichiren Buddhism, we believe that karma is stor stored in our subconscious mind. In Nichiren Buddhism, I think we call it the Eighth Consciousness or Alaya Consciousness, meaning accumulation. Our subconscious mind is like a sponge and absorbs everything from the time we are born to the present moment. Some say even from the very beginning of our infinite lives, but, but again, I don't want to delve into that because to make it simpler, I just want to focus on this lifetime because this is the most important lifetime to be at. So there was a man um, I read a few years ago, uh, I think he was in the Guinness Book of World Records, I forgot his name, but he could literally remember everything that happened in his life, all the dates and the experiences. He can readily access it. You can say, this guy is in tune with his subconscious. Unfortunately, not all of us can do this. In fact, since it is below the conscious mind, we cannot even be aware of what is going on. We are not aware of the programs we are running. So when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we access that part of our mind, um, some would call the higher self, we call it Buddha consciousness. 
scientifically, you can call it accessing the theta state or brain wave. So it's a frequency of our brain waves ranging from 4 hertz to 8 hertz. So it's really slow brain wave. And it's said to make us more in tune with our intuition. So that's the intuitive part of our state of mind. Now back to karma. When you're not able to transcend the subconscious mind, you lack awareness of the pro programs running your life. Therefore, you might think that you have free will, but you only have freedom to choose based on what limited awareness you have. So let us say, so that I can tie it up to real life, let us say you grew up with a father who left and abandoned your family. So you grew up with a father that just up and left. If that is all you know, chances are you will repeat the same pattern because you lack the awareness that there are better choices to make. You lack the awareness that you are just following in your parents' footsteps or your father's footsteps. So um, this also explains why you will see a history of abuse, whether physical, mental, or emotional abuse that is being passed on across many generations. For example, um, personally, I know of a family of four daughters who each have um, or at least have had a history of abusive relationships. They grew up with their father beating their mother, and that was all they knew when they were growing up. When they all became adults, to some degree, they repeated the same pattern, either in the form of emotional abuse from their partners or their spouses, or even physical abuse, or even both. They were running that particular family program or family conditioning. Even if there is some awareness, it is hard to overcome it because that is all that they know. They are not aware that there are other choices available or that there are other choices to make. So if that's all you knew growing up, if that's what you grew up, that was the type of family that you grew up, so chances are even if you're, you know, you're conscious about it, that this is what happened, unless you really have that deep awareness, you, chances are you'll stay in that mental programming, that, that conditioning, you'll remain stuck in that conditioning because that's all you know. Another example is, of a family that I know personally. Um, they grew up with a broken family. Almost all of the children, when they became adults, had dysfunctional families and dysfunctional relationships. It was all that they knew growing up. They lacked the awareness that there was something better. So they just followed that cycle because that was all they knew. That was what they were conditioned to think. That was their programming. and. Um, Luckily, there's at least one member of this family that is chanting and starting to change the, their family program or uh, family conditioning or you can call it even family karma. So chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo gives you the, that awareness to see the pattern or programs running your life. Not only that, aside from the uh, deep awareness, I'm not just saying just being conscious of it because being conscious is even not enough. You know, you have to have that deep awareness. And what chanting does is that not only gives you that deep awareness, it also gives you the wisdom. And aside from the wisdom, it gives you the life force to transcend it. So awareness is, in, is not enough. You also have to have the wisdom to know how to change your karma and the life force of energy or energy or strength to overcome it with the right action. Another thing that chanting does is to erase or approve that belief that holds you hostage. The belief perhaps that you can never be happy, you're not worthy. So in the book, Transform Your Energy, Change Your Life, Nature and Buddhism 3.0 by Yukio Matsudo, Su Suzanne Matsudo Kiliani, there's a part there that talks about how chanting helps you get into that theta brainwave, which helps you eliminate or delete the negative programs that are keeping you from being happy. So the theta brainwave also has that aspect of not only accessing your intuitive mind, but also has that, you know, you can change you can change patterns and beliefs in that level of mind, and we all have access to it. 
and we access it through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. And other people, maybe they're not drawn to this practice, and that's totally okay. Um, there are other ways, but this is the way and the path that I have chosen. So I have seen many Nichiren Buddhists over the years that literally have rewritten their programming or conditioning, rewritten their lives. I met two fathers who were physically abusive towards their wives who have changed their ways. One of them shared that one day he just realized how cruel, cruel he has been to his family and that something his daughter said made him aware of what he has been doing. Before he chanted, he was drunk by noon and he would physically abuse his, uh, his wife. He was literally unaware of the programs or unaware of the suffering that he had caused and unaware of um, his mental programming. I have met many members who are in the flesh trade or they were female escorts, you know, it's another way to say it. When they started to chant, they got out of that business and started to live a more positive and productive life. I have met alcoholics who have changed their programming and people even with mental illness. It takes a lot of compassion to see that as human beings, especially human beings that have done many hurtful and bad things, are really essentially unaware about the programs running their lives. In no way am I saying that these so-called bad people should not be held accountable for their actions. They totally are, because it's, you know, we have cause and effect. I just really want you to think about it. Let it sink, let it sink in. Quoting from one of the passages in Nichiren's writings, he wrote, unless one perceives the nature of one's life, one cannot eradicate one's grave offenses. There's no true freedom unless you're aware of the causes you're creating, the effects of the causes you're creating. To change your karma, you have to be aware. So to change your karma, you have to be able to see your life from a different perspective, from a higher perspective. Nichiren Buddhism and chanting Namyo Horenge Kyo is special because it is called Buddhism of sowing. What it means is that now is the only thing that matters. Your determination now will determine your next course of action from this very moment once you have dedicated or once you have decided to be totally free from conditioning, programming, or karma. You can start to change your life right now. Nichiren Buddhism is not concerned about the past, but about how you can turn the past into a cause for a better future. It is the present moment that is important, for it is the present that will determine your future. Learn to forgive yourself. Learn to forgive others. Learn to see. Learn to see that there are more choices that you are not aware of. Chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to see, to have that awareness, to have that life force, to have that wisdom to change your karma. If you feel this video resonates with you, and you feel this is the path for you, and if you have more questions, go to www.sdiusa.org or sdi-usa.org or www.sdi.org. So I'm going to send the link as well. Thank you very much, and I hope that I have explained karma because it's a um, really hard topic, and it's really hard.